Good morning, everyone. Good morning, friends. Welcome to our classroom. I am so excited to have you all back here with me this morning. If you are just tuning in, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Ms. Thompson, and I'm a kindergarten teacher from Griggs Elementary. On Monday, we discovered a new topic, and we started our journey learning about digraphs. Who remember which digraph we learned about? Yes, we learned about the digraph. Shh. And we went fishing. And you all helped me on my fishing trip sort through all my word fish. You also helped me keep plenty of them. So thank you, friends. Today we're going to continue with digraphs and we're going to do just a little bit of a review. We learned that digraphs are when two or more letters connect and that represents one sound. So when we think about the digraph shh, we should picture or we should see the letters S-H. Remember our activity? S-H-SH. 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 I want you to try that. Let's try it. S-H-SH. 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 Wonderful job, everyone. Good. Getting those brains working so great this morning. Also, let's think about air writing. Who remembers when we had a little activity with air writing? Yes, and we learned that air writing is like sticky brains. It's like placing a post-it note on top of your brain and it stays there. Remember, the trick to air writing is to always follow your finger. Just like when you're writing with your pencil and with your pen on your paper, your eyes have to follow all the way around with that finger. Take out your index finger and I want you to watch the tip of that finger. We are going to air write the letters that represent the sound for the digraph sh, which are the letters S H. We're going to air write the letters S H, then we're going to swipe through and make the sound. We're going to do that three times together. Let's start. Hold up your finger, start air writing the letter S. Watch your finger. S H sh. Very good. Another time. S. H, sh. One more time. S, H, sh. Very good. How many of you saw the letters actually in the air as you were air writing them? It's a pretty neat trick, isn't it? It's a cool trick. Friends, that's just some of the ways that we're going to work together to make sure that we're grasping the concept of digraphs. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump into a fun activity. And this is a little different for us, and it's going to be a, one of our favorite games. And this is going to be a game that I like to call Pop. I love the game Pop. This is one of my friends and I favorite games to play in the classroom. With Pop, we're going to do things a little different though. We're actually going to split off into teams. So I want you all to listen very closely so you'll know which team you want to represent. We're going to have two groups. Here we have a group in blue that says yes. Any word that I pull out of this bag that has the shh sound, we're going to place on this side of the group where there's blue. Do you also see here where we have the sound shh? Absolutely in the check mark. On this side is going to be where we have words that do not have the shh sound in them. So we'll have to really listen closely. Any word that does not have the sh sound in it, we're going to place here on this side. Once again, I want you all to look up here because that's a sad face. And he's saying, oh no, I don't have the right sound, Miss Thompson. So all the other words have to go over here. Are you guys up for the task? You all did a wonderful job helping, helping me on Monday. So I know you're going to help me through this as well. Let's start with our first one. I always start with pop with shaking my bag. So I want you all to get your hands and I just want you to shake, 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 shake as hard as you can. Oh, let's see. Here's our very first word, everyone. So I want you all to try these steps. I want you to look at the word all the way through. Then we're going to read the word. Pay very close attention here because we have a familiar set of letters here. SH represents the digraph. Shh. So we're familiar with that sound. Let's also remember at the very end of that word, we have a special friend. Magic E. 
Absolutely. We know that his job is going to go underneath to make that vowel long. That vowel is going to say its name. So when we go through and we decode and we decode this word, I want to make sure that for the vowel A, that we all are saying the long vowel sound, A. You ready, friends? Let's go. Shave. Shave. What word do you hear? Shave. Listen to the sound. Shave. Read the word. Shave. Do you hear the sh sound in the word shave? Give me a big yes and a thumbs up if you do. Yes, absolutely. Great job, friends. At the beginning of the word shave, we hear the sh sound. Wonderful job. So I'm going to stick it right here because that's yes. So far for our side with yes, that's representing the sh digraph, we have one point. All right, so if you chose to go ahead and chose the blue team, I'm telling you, they have one point right now. So friends, make sure we're listening. Here we go, we're gonna shake again. Take your hands, give me a really good shake. You ready? One, two, three. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, here's another word for us. All right, so once again, this is our steps. We look at the word all the way through. Once you see that word, I want you to start making the sounds that each letter represents. We're gonna make it sound like a song. We're gonna read that word. We are looking for the sh sound within the word, aren't we? Absolutely. And we know that if it has the sound, it goes to blue team. If it does not have the sound, it goes over to the red side where we see our sad face. Let's try this one. <sighs> Add, had. What word do you hear? Yes, I hear the word had. Now listen closely to the sounds, had. Do we hear the sh sound in the word had? Had. No, and I know a lot of you are pointing right now. No, it goes underneath the red, absolutely so. If you chose to represent the red team and listen for those sounds, absolutely. And it goes right over here underneath our friend that has the sad face. He tells us, no, my words do not have the sh phoneme. Wonderful job, friends. We're gonna shake it up again, and this time I want you all to shake it very hard because look, it is tied one to one. So let's try it. I'm going to see which one I have. Oh, here's our next word. Here we go, friends. Remember, look all the way through the word. Let's go. Ooh, ash, lash. What word do you hear? Absolutely, I hear the word lash as well. Lash. Listen to the sounds. Lash. Hmm, do we hear the sh sound in the word lash? Absolutely, yes. And also, if we read the word, we can also see here at the very end of the word, we see the digraph sh, represented by the letters S H. Oh, you guys are wonderful this morning. I'm so glad I have great helpers. All right, so now we're gonna try one more, then we're gonna move on. You ready? Shake, shake, shake. Here we go. Oh, we all know this one. This is one of our favorite sight words in kindergarten, isn't it? C. Everyone say that word. C. In the word C, do we hear the sh sound? C. C. No, we do not. We're looking for the sh sound. And here we have the word C. Very good, everyone. So it goes underneath our side with the sad face. And we are definitely tied with our groups, two to two. Friends, you all have done wonderful so far. Here we go, our last shake. This is going to be the tiebreaker. And I want you to, if you're at home right now, stand up, give it a good shake because this is for each side and we're gonna see which side has the most. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Our last word, read it all the way through. You all can do it. This time I want you to read it, look at the word, decode it. If you see familiar digraph here and the letters that represent the digraph, shh, you need to tell me yes or no and I want you to point and I want you to yell to tell me which side it will be on. 
we have the word hush, hush. Listen to the sounds in the word hush. Does the word hush have the sh sound? Yes, great job. It does, absolutely. So we know which side this is going to go on and it lands right here with the rest of our words that have the sh phoneme in common. Let's read those words, wonderful job. Shave, lash, hush, all have the sh sound within the word. And we can see that our yes side has more. Great job, everyone. Give yourselves a hand and a kiss on the brain. Wonderful job. Great, great job, friends, for listening for those sounds. That's exactly what good readers do. They read all the way through the word, and they make sure that each sound is represented by its letter. And that was part of our activity today. You guys did wonderful. Right now, we're going to go ahead and move on to another fun activity I love to do. It's called picture spell. So what I would like for you to do right now, if you have crayons or a piece of paper or a notepad next to you, grab it quickly. Go, go, go. Grab it because we're about to spell. When you are ready, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, friends, here we go. All right, so remember, we are learning about the digraph. Shh. Our pictures are going to have the digraph included in it. But your job is to think of the sounds, really listen to those sounds, and picture in your head the letters that represent those given sounds. You ready? Here's our first one. Here we have a picture of a store. And what does mom or dad do when they go to the store? They buy, yes, they buy groceries, they buy food, but then they also shop, shop. When mom gets that cart and she's going through the aisles, she's shopping. Everyone say the word shop. Shop. Listen to the sounds. Shop. We're going to break that word apart and we're going to spell it together. All right, so remember we have different strategies. You can use your stretchy snake. You can use your tapping. Today I'm going to use my finger, so I want you all to watch me closely and you may repeat after me. We're going to break the word apart. Shop. Shop, shop. Let's spell the word shop. Shh, shh. I wonder which letters, or what letters, or group of letters represent the sound shh. S-H, absolutely. Go ahead and write that on your paper. S-H, let's keep going. Shh, up, shh, up. What letter represents the sound ah? Uh? Absolutely, and keep going to your ending sound. Shh, ah, uh, p, p. What letter represents the sound p? Beautiful, it is the letter P. We just spelled the word shop. Shh, ah, uh, shop. Wonderful job, friends, with that one. If you have it on your paper, great job. If you are using your fingers to spell that word, even air writing it, even perfect. Because if you don't have anything next to you, you can air write. That is your brain's writing tool. Let's try one more. Here, friends, we have a picture of a ship. Everyone, say the word ship. Beautiful, ship. We're going to actually take that word and remember, we're going to stretch it because we want each individual sound to pop out so we can spell it correctly for picture spell. Here we go. Say all the sounds that you hear in the word ship, sh, I, p, ship. One more time, sh, I, p, ship. Wonderful job, friends. We're going to go through, let's spell the word ship. Sh, absolutely. I hear the digraph, S-H. Let's keep going, sh, I, I. What letter represents the sound I? Beautiful, absolutely the letter I. And finally, our ending sound, ship, ship. Yes, the letter P. Make sure you have that on your paper. If you do, wonderful job, because that is going right through all of those sounds. Beautiful, friends, great job. 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to another one. Go ahead and get your space ready on your paper. Quickly get your space ready because this time we're going to work a little bit with some picture spells that feature the sh sound at the end of the word. And remember on Monday, we learned about our ending sounds, didn't we? And we learned that the ending sound is like a caboose. Just like in line, when we're going to the restroom or to the lunchroom, we have a caboose. The ending sound lets the reader know that the word is done. It is completely over. So we're going to practice listening and spelling the sh digraph when it appears as an ending sound. Okay, let's try it. Here we have a picture of a, you all know this, because we went fishing on Monday. Picture of a fish, absolutely, a fish. Say the word fish. Great job, friends. Listen to the sound, fish. Now, take the word, we're going to stretch it. Ish, fish, fish. Let's spell, here we go. Think about the letter that represents the sound. Absolutely, the letter F, keep going on your paper. If you have your fingers out, if you're air writing, keep going. I. Ending sound. Ish. Fish. Absolutely, it's going to be the sh, which is represented by the letters S, H. Make sure you have that down. Wonderful job, friends. Look, you all just helped me spell the word fish. Okay, we have one more, and I'm excited for this one. I'm actually going to choose another color for this one because even though it's a familiar word, this is also one that we've seen quite a bit. What do you think this would be? Look closely. Some of you are thinking, oh, that's a plate, Miss Thompson. Yes, we know it as a plate, but we're going to call it a dish. Everyone repeat the word, dish. Dish, listen to the sound, dish. We're going to take the word, stretch it to hear each sound. Let's listen closely. D, I, sh, dish. You all try it with me. Let's go. D, I, sh, dish. All right, once again, let's start. Let's listen for all the sounds we hear in dish. D. What letter represents the D sound? Yes, the letter D. Wonderful, friends. Absolutely. Keep going. D, I, Absolutely. And finally, d -i -sh. Sh. the sh sound is represented by the letters S, H. Wow, friends. Absolutely wonderful. Go ahead and kiss your brain. You all have done wonderful with making sure that each of those sounds are represented within the word. You have spelled words that have the sh digraph. You have also helped me sort words that also have the sh sound within them. Wonderful job, everyone. Great, great work. Guess what, friends? You all have made it through your digraph lesson. So for the end of our time together, we're going to quickly look through our book, one of our special books, and this may be familiar to you, Trashy Town. Yes, also even in this book, it has the sh sound within the title. Wonderful friends. So we're going to go through, we're going to read this book together. It's one of my favorite books because of the sounds that we hear in it. You ready? All right, let's go ahead and get ready. And you may know the song, so feel free to sing along as we read. Trashy Town by Andrea Zimmerman and David Klamisha. Trashy Town. Mr. Gilly is a trash man. In the morning, Mr. Gilly puts on his big heavy gloves. He climbs into his big trash truck. He turns the key. He drives his empty truck down the street. He is looking for trash. Trash. Stop! There are trash cans by the school. Mr. Gilly empties the trash cans into the truck. 
dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? No, Mr. Gilly drives on. I know a lot of you know this song. Go ahead and sing it if you know it. Stop, there are trash cans in the park. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? No, Mr. Gilly drives on. Stop, there are trash cans behind the pizza parlor. Mr. Gilly empties the can into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? No, Mr. Gilly drives on. Stop! There are trash cans next to the doctor's office. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? No, Mr. Gilly drives on. Stop! There are trash cans by the fire station. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? No. Mr. Gilly drives down all the streets in trashy town. He empties all the trash cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? Yes, Mr. Gilly has cleaned up the whole town. Mr. Gilly drives the full trash truck to the dump. Up, up, up goes the truck. Down, down, down goes the trash. I dump it in, I smashed it down. I love to clean up trashy town. Mr. Gilly turns off the key. He takes off his gloves, then he gets home. Now there's only one more thing to clean up. Time for a bath, Mr. Gilly. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around to trashy town. The end. Good job, everyone, today. You all have done a wonderful job adventuring with digraphs this week. Remember, next week, we're gonna start all over again and we're gonna learn about a new special digraph. So I want you all to really go home and finish up this week and practice a lot with your digraph. Shh, writing those words in Play-Doh. If you have slime, making the words with slime. If you have play stand at home, take some out, put it on a plate, take your air writing finger, and write that digraph in there. Also, ear writing just in general will spell those words or coloring them or drawing them. Friends, I'm so excited. I had the chance to work with you all again today. You all are wonderful as usual. Have a great weekend and I will see you bright and early on Monday.